Hey, everybody. We're back. I hope everybody got a little bit of networking in. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, I got to meet some pretty interesting people, and I was very lucky enough to find a friend of mine that we hadn't talked in a while. So please make sure you go to the networking because it is a lot of fun. That's why we're here. Once again, to continue on this incredibly strong, incredibly great system of panels, people, CPG folks here in the Austin area, we have not just a great panel session. It's really a pitching of a number of different really cool and really interesting brands. But we have one of my all-time favorite CPG people hosting this. That's Emily Keeley, who runs Naturally Austin. Uh, everybody on this call, there she is, always looking lovely. Everybody who is on this call and looking at this right now should be a member of naturallyaustin.org. They put out incredibly great content. When the time comes, we'll have great events again. Um, I will never forget the smartest thing they ever did, which is they did something called Texpo when uh, Expo West was canceled. And it was probably the best networking event. Frankly, the last networking event almost anybody did before COVID really hit us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to take too much time away from her. Emily is fantastic. You're going to love her. I guarantee it. And with that, I'll give you Emily Keeley. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. And right back at you. I just adore working with you as well. Hi, everybody. As Mark said, I'm executive director of Naturally Austin, the only nonprofit trade organization that actually supports CPG members here in Austin with networking, resources, and education. And as Mark said, events. Um, we will bring those back hopefully sometime next year. But for now, we do have great webinars, great resources. We have a huge event coming up on October 27th that I hope you guys will look to. So go to naturallyaustin.org for more event and find out about these great members. But today is to really celebrate these members and celebrate the entrepreneurs who are making our CPG ecosystem great. And I am thrilled today to introduce some of our, our members who want to tell us a little bit more about themselves, their company, and their mission. So without further ado, the first one I'd like to mention is Zach Harper from Funky Mellow, who makes these really delicious marshmallows. Zach, you're up. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's really happy to be, I'm really happy to be here and excited to talk about Funky Mellow a little bit more. So I do have something to share with you guys. Let me share the screen real quick. And this is really good to dive into our brand a little bit more. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. So with Funky Mellow, it's a really interesting story. It's, you know, a husband and wife duo. We really started this company because I honestly had started having food allergies and different food problems. She suggested that I go gluten-free. Long story short, gluten-free fell into veganism. And now we really wanted to make a treat that everyone could enjoy. We started off as a Rice Krispie trunk company. And honestly, you know, it was a lot of fun. But Rice Krispies were great. Um, a lot of hard work went into that. And then we discovered marshmallows and we thought, why not try that too? Truth be told, marshmallows are even harder than Rice Krispie treats to make. So, you know, after about a year and a half of working on recipes, we finally found Funky Mellow and we really hit the market on wanting to stop with the soy. You know, soy is, a, is not a bad thing necessarily, but it's also something that we know people shouldn't have a whole lot of. So we're really proud that our marshmallows are soy free. They're free of the top eight allergens. There's also no gluten in there, no carrageenan. A really big thing that we're proud of too is they're meltable. So, you know, there's another brand out there too, and I won't want to speak too badly about them because they're great. But with them, they don't melt quite as well as ours do. So we're really proud of that being one of our main focuses too. Right now we've got two flavors out, vanilla, pumpkin spice. It's only seasonal, so we're trying that out. And then we're really super pumped to get into several stores. Um, just recently, all these stores came online for us about the last month and a half. So we've gotten into rabbit food, Dia's Market, Tropicasa down in McAllen, Nooch, V's Marks a shop in Philadelphia, Huntington, um, Riverdale is in New York City, and then Vegan Essentials is our, our biggest online retailer that's giving us a shot too. So like I said, all these stores for us really just started giving us a shot within the last month and a half. We're really pumped to not only get in there, but for people to start trying them throughout the nation. Um, so that's really briefly, I know I talked really quickly too about our brand too. We're over the moon and excited that people are not only trying our marshmallows, but they're starting to enjoy them. They're um, really asking us for different flavors. We definitely have about, <laughs> truth be told, we've got about 20 to different to 30 different flavors that we want to roll out eventually. Um, we're just starting off with these right now too, just to really introduce ourselves to the market and really tell everybody that we're here. Um, really excited also to partner up with Naturally Austin and for Emily and, and the folks over there to give us a shot too and, and get us noticed as well. But that's uh that's our brief journey about Funky Mellow and you know short story about myself too.
Perfect. Thank you so much, Zach. And I remember when I it was like I think my first week there, I remember you gave me a marshmallow to try. <laughs> and I, I went did. home and my children ate all of them in about five seconds. <laughs> so they're really, really good. So and congrats on all your success um, and your you. growth and, and and landing these retail accounts during this time too. So I'm we're so happy for you. And that's really what Naturally Austin is all about, is championing entrepreneurs and, and helping you guys grow and thrive. So we're just we're thrilled to see it. So, Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, Emily. It means a lot. Absolutely. Speaking of actually huge success, um, we have another one coming up, Esker Beauty. And I know that I definitely want the scrapey thing that she has. And I shall talk about it here in a second. But um, I'm very excited to introduce Shannon Davenport from Esker Beauty. Thank you. OK, let's see if this works for me. Always, always some technical fun. OK. Um, we good? You think we can totally hear you? Yeah, you're good. Can you see my deck? Emily, can you see my deck? Hmm. Let's see, not yet. Let's, you know, all these things with the sharing and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, one second. Here we go. Okay, that should do it. There we go, perfect, we can see it. Okay, perfect. Um, thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to uh, be here with you guys today and I'm now like officially hungry for marshmallows. So um, my name is Shannon Davenport and um, I am a recent graduate from SKU, track eight, and uh, also kind of a recent transplant to Austin. I launched this brand in New York and LA, I guess, at different phases of the company's, um, you know, chrysalis lifespan. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be part of this community. So um, what our brand is about is about really creating at-home sanctuaries. Um, in my former life, uh, living in New York, I was constantly traveling as a trend forecaster. It was a really stressful, crazy job, but I knew that no matter what, I could always look forward to a relaxing bath at the end of the day. Um, now, given what's going on in our current world, I knew that um, more than ever, it's really important to find these ways of creating rituals and creating space um, from our homes. And so now my bathroom is my sanctuary more than ever, which was always my goal with this brand, but it's... it's um, become even more so in the last uh, several months. So my goal with Esker is to share these rituals that I um, found really helped me with other women. Uh, beauty consumers have a lot of options and upgrades available to their faces, but it didn't make sense to me that we were still using outdated products on the rest of our bodies, especially when we want to indulge in that really healthy, soothing bathing experience. So our skin is actually the largest organ in our body and 90% of it is from the neck down, but we see that current body care products out there are full of cheap fillers, artificial ingredients and preservatives. So the clean beauty revolution, just like, you know, with clean and better for you products across the board is definitely already here. And I felt that it was time to start thinking about the full beauty regimen and the full body. So we are elevating this category with thoughtful formulations and exciting ingredients. We don't have greasy fillers. We use premium naturals. We are an inclusive brand for all, um, all genders really, but um, primarily for women um, of different shapes, sizes, and ages. Uh, we have sustainability baked, uh, baked into our brand as a naturals brand, which is very important to us as well. Um, this is a huge market. Um, there's a, a massive opportunity to elevate the clean body care uh, category. Uh, there's 141 billion non-facial beauty market in the U.S., and we want to address the quickest growing portion of this, which is the $55 billion premium and naturals segment. So what we've done is kind of created this mindful at-home practice around body care. There's a multi-step process with tools and products. You can customize these to your own skin and needs um, with our three distinct lines, and those are based on, again, what you want out of your body care uh, experience, whether that's firming, clarifying, or restoring your skin. We've got about 20 SKUs across body washes and soap, oils, and body care tools. Our margins are really healthy, uh, between 75 and 85%. We've got a body type 
skin type quiz on our um, site, which actually helps us get people onto our site um, to increase conversion rates and cart size. And, you know, the content for us is really a way of educating consumers on this ritual. Once they've learned that ritual, um, you know, and they, they've like uh, uh, built that into their daily or once a week self care um, practice, then they come back to us time and time again to replenish. Um, our customers tell us that, that our rituals make them feel amazing. Um, and not only do they make them feel good, but it's something that they love to gift to other people in their lives, whether that's their, you know, moms or, or friends or coworkers. Um, we've got a really healthy average order value of over $70. And we're focused exclusively on this non-facial uh, products and tools in the premium natural space. Again, we see this as a white space that we really want to own. Um, we've got a lot of buzz going around our brand and a really good relationship with beauty editors. Um, we also have a, a wholesale element of our business. Um, and so we've done pop-ups with Nordstrom. Goop was one of our first retailers. Uh, Net-a-Porter is one of our strongest accounts. So we're really happy to have this wholesale um, side of our business to uh, give us exposure and credibility. Um, but this year, we're really focusing our efforts on growing to see D to C. This is where we see the most opportunity. Um, we are up 400% year on year for our D to C, and we're um, looking to hit the, the half a million mark for 2020. Um, we are super lean. We're bootstrapped. Um, so most of our expansion um, has really been fueled primarily by organic growth, um, very, very small marketing budget, and we're doing a lot of it ourselves. We've got a solid product product roadmap plan for this year. So we've um, launched a few different products and the body plane tool, in uh, which we launched in June, is the one you were talking about, Emily, and that one is um, was really awesome. Um, we got a ton of press, ton of traffic around it, and it kind of is taking the business to the next level because it's really an innovative tool in a space, again, that hasn't seen a lot of innovation. Um, and for holiday, we're building out that kind of mindful um, uh, bathroom sanctuary vibe with our plantable candle, and uh, we're really excited about that. And we know that um, some editors and wholesale partners are excited about it too. We designed every single bit of it from the to the terrazzo vessel to um, the plantableness, which I won't get into it, but it's a it's a fun twist on a premium candle. So we are actually looking for a, a seed round. Um, we're gonna be doing that early 2021 after we get through the crazy holiday. We do a lot of our business um, in Q4. And um, our goal really is to build this um, into a $10 million business in the next three to five years. Um, and we wanna become, the uh, premier destination for clean body care. So with this round that we're gonna be raising early next year, we wanna be able to give women around the world the tools to care for their body and carve out these crucial moments of calm, which I know we all need so desperately these days. Um, thank you so much, that's us. And that's my email at the bottom. I'm Shannon at askerbeauty.com. Thank you so much, Shannon. Yeah, it's the body plane tool that I saw everywhere that I officially won. And I also want to go take a bath. Um, and I guess <laughs> I'm going kombucha uh, while, I'm, while I'm doing it with all your products. Um, I am really excited to introduce um, our next Naturally Austin member that we have, uh, Gavin Booth from Green Belt Kombucha. I love their stuff. And look at that display you've got going there. So <laughs> take it away, Gavin. Hey, thanks, Emily. Hey, I'm Gavin Booth with Greenbelt Craft Kombucha. I'm one of the founders. Um, I came from a really hippie mother in California, and there's really three things that was wrong with the kombucha industry. They were, one, it's way too expensive to buy kombucha for your family. Two, old school kombucha is really high in sugar. And three, it, most kombuchas don't actually use really high quality teas. Um, so with Greenbelt, we solved all of those issues. The number one thing we wanted to solve was make really healthy, raw, good probiotic infused kombucha for any Texan family. So we're sold statewide at HEBs in pretty much every single healthy living section. Um, we come into $1.99 a can. Um, so it's far and away the most affordable kombucha on the shelves. Um, but we wanted to up, the, up that as well. So we reduce the sugar content a ton. We don't add sugar post-fermentation, which most kombuchas do. Um, and we derive our fruit flavor 
by steeping really premium freeze-dried fruit, just like tea, uh, when most are adding fruit juices, which also add additional sugar. Um, and then what, the thing that excites me the most is every single one of our flavor comes from different functional teas. Um, and a couple of exciting announcements that we have coming up. One is, and I actually need to send our press releases probably this week, our next one coming out is our Yopon kombucha-based kombucha. And that's super, super exciting because we're actually partnering with Texan tea growers. Yopon is America's only natural caffeine. It's a lot similar to, to Herba Mate, but it's grown in the U.S. and it's mainly grown in Texas. Um, so that's super exciting. That's on the shelves now for HEB. Um, and we're helping Texan farmers as well as obviously supporting Texans with an affordable kombucha. And then the next super exciting announcement is that we're actually launching with Whole Foods come in March um, with some super exciting flavors coming out for them. Um, other than that, you can find out more information about us at our Instagram. It's Greenbelt Kombucha. Um, same with GreenbeltKombucha.com. Um, and yeah, find us at any HEV. Um, and we're happy to supply any tasting events whenever people start having events coming up soon because we love starting setting up the startup community with any tasting that they need just because we love getting out in our community. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gavin. I really appreciate it. Um, and so now we're going to move on to another, um, I've got actually a fun story about this one as well. Um, so uh, Emily McNabb's company, The Good Hippie, she has this calming dwelling mist. And uh, my five-year-old tends to run around the home and spray it everywhere because <laughs> she loves it so much. Um, so I'm really excited to introduce you, Emily McNabb Butler um, from The Good Hippie. Emily, take it away. Thank you, thank you. I love that with the Calm Dwelling Mist because it's also doubled as monster spray in the evening, getting all the monsters out of the room. But um, hi everybody, I'm Emily. Uh, I'm the owner of The Good Hippie um, and it's really cool to be here. Listening to everybody's stories has been just like crazy inspirational. And Shannon, you're killing it. <laughs> uh, everything you said is everything I believe in. Um, but a little bit about us. Uh, we're an all natural skincare, body care, and home care company. So we have three different collections uh, that you can kind of choose from. Um, I'm the CEO, but also technical support, customer service representative, and everything in between with this uh, with this company. It we're growing and we want to grow a lot right now. Um, the Good Hippie takes pride in every single aspect of the process of uh, from the inception of a product to uh, it hitting the market. All of our recipes are, are our own intellectual property. They are not bought and they are all handcrafted here in Austin by me with ethically sourced vegan ingredients and materials. So the Good Hippies started with one product and that was the body oil. And that uh, is actually still one of our best sellers even today. Um, but it was used as a safer non-toxic replacement for massage therapy in lieu of commercial lotions that do have uh, drying agents, formaldehyde, a, a, a lot of bad things that you don't want on your skin. And it's surprising that in something like massage therapy, which is a holistic approach to health, uh, would still use those kinds of products. So that's where it began. And since then it has grown into a skincare collection that is actually soap free, uh, gently cleansing the soap, cleansing is the, uh, or uh, gently cleansing the face, uh, cleansing is the harshest step to our uh, skincare rituals. And with that, the drying and, and um, uh, just abrasive chemicals that we put on our face, uh, you can you can use something a lot more gentle that is just as effective um, and slow down the aging process. Um, so uh, we specialize just in rituals for the home, the body, the mind, the soul, and it really comes down to the details for us. Uh, the bubble wrap we use in all of our shipments is biodegradable. Uh, our artwork is actually created by a Japanese energy painter that um, tested the uh, the energy of all of the products. Um, and also we have another collection, our manifest collection, 
that uh, the artwork was created by Lindsay Lab, who is a political activist and artist. And this uh, collection also helps support our nonprofit uh, partners as well. Um, so a lot of uh, do good, feel good uh, from top to bottom with this with these products. Um, now more than ever, uh, CBG companies are popping up everywhere and adapting to the new growing demographics that are becoming a lot more um, visible uh, to companies. And the good hippie gets a lot of attention uh, because we are catering more to those specific customer preferences like um, uh, only vegan ingredients and, and being really uh, transparent about our manufacturing uh, practices. Uh, as you can see, everything behind me is touched by me, is made by me and packaged by me, even put into the mail by me um, or a team, which I would like to again have after <laughs> a pandemic. <laughs> um, but now that consumers are getting smarter and they're getting uh, a little bit uh, pickier about whatever they're purchasing, um, uh, we uh, we can step in and, and really deliver on those on those needs. Um, and the prestige beauty industry has seen significant growth, especially in skincare. Um, I like to consider the good hippie uh, slow beauty. We know about slow fashion, and we um, know the harms of fast fashion and uh, mass produced products. And now we can really recognize the downfalls. Uh, that also exist in the self-care industry. And I believe that we can create safer uh, products for our bodies, for our, uh, for, for our planet, and even for our manufacturers. Um, and uh, when we create those higher quality products, we're lessening the waste that, uh, but with our products lasting longer, uh, we're using better ingredients on our skin, like Shannon said, um, and uh, our bodies, uh, when you put these things on your skin, your your skin actually absorbs sixty percent of whatever whatever you put on it, um, which can be very harmful and and um, contribute to illness. Um, and we use sustainable materials, only glass jars, and we're trying to move toward more uh, plastic free everything that it would include lids to eventually. Um, but right now we started with our lip collection, um, and uh, uh, also. We want to uh, manufacture responsibly to lessen our carbon footprint and and hire humans uh, for uh, with fair wages, uh, creating jobs, uh, treating employees fairly with respect, and creating uh, an enthusiasm uh, around this new world that we can really create together uh, by educating people on how to be um, better consumers, responsible consumers. Um, I see the good hippie solving a lot of those ethical issues um, for conscious consumers uh, that are buying essential products, but also luxury products as well um, that still seek efficacy in skincare, body care, and in home care. And um, large companies will be held responsible and will be forced to raise their standards when we uh, we get out in the public and and, and, and educate uh, the consumers so we can all make better decisions and we learn every single day. Um, so if you want to learn more, you can go to the website, thegoodhippie.com. We also have a quiz on there as well, um, but for uh, face skincare specifically. And our most recent thing that we launched is our 2% um, um, hyaluronic acid serum. And this is my baby. I'm very, very proud of this. Um, every step to every one of our products has a ritual step on top. Um, so you know what order to use your product in. And this one is a hydrate. Um, uh, and that is also on the quiz as well. Um, you, If you have any questions, you can reach me. But that's the good hippie. <laughs> so much, Emily. I really appreciate your time and so good to hear about your growth, you know, discontinued growth. It's so exciting. So, um, well, I, the, as a mom of two kids, I will say this next one um, is near and dear to my heart. Uh, they're five and seven, but when they were babies, they definitely um, ate from these pouches. So I'm thrilled to introduce to you uh, Serenity Carr from Serenity Kids, who's also seeing massive growth and success. Hi, Serenity. Hi, how are you? Good, doing great. Thanks for being here. And you are ending out our showcase. So we're ending out with a bang. Thank you. All yeah. right. Thank you guys so much for having me. I love being a Naturally Austin member. The networking has been invaluable to me and growing my business. 
So I'll tell you a little bit about my story. So I was a sick little kid. I you know, was a product of the 80s. I had two working parents. I ate lots of junk food, you know, chicken and a biscuit crackers with cheese whiz for dinner sometimes. And I was always in and out of a doctor, taking a bunch of antibiotics. And then um, those antibiotics eventually hurt my digestive tract, which, you know, we don't we didn't know, know about leaky gut back then, but now we know. And so I ended up with a lot of stomach pain. And I changed my diet about 10 years ago and started eating <clears throat> primarily organic veggies, ethically sourced meats and healthy fats with a little bit of fruits and nuts, kind of the paleo style. And it worked. I didn't have to take the medicine from my doctor anymore. And I was the healthiest I had ever been. And so... Four years ago, my husband, my now husband and I were starting to talk about having a family someday. And I started looking around, you know, food's a big part of my story. So I started looking around for baby foods that met my nutrition standards and my ethical, ethically sourcing standards. And I was really shocked that I didn't find any. I kept looking and kept looking, thinking I was going to find what I wanted somewhere, but I didn't. And my husband at the, and the, at the time had just read The 4-Hour Workweek by, um, oh, what's his name? Tim Ferriss. And so he was looking for a company to start. And he said, you know, we should start this baby food company. I thought he was crazy, but it ended up working. So we ended up making the only baby food that mimics the nutrients of breast milk that uses ethically sourced meats and organic veggies. So our first two products are here. This is our organic, our free range chicken, better than organic free range, made with organic peas and carrots, one of our best sellers. And then our grass fed beef with organic sweet potato and kale. These two products launched the same day that our baby was born. Here's a picture of the cute little family. And um, they've been doing really well. We're the only high fat, low sugar baby food in a pouch. We also have, we buy our meats from regenerative agriculture farmers. So they are helping to reverse climate change, which is a really big part of our mission is to help heal the planet. And then we recently launched, we're in the, this is perfect timing because we're in the middle of a huge launch. On um, last Thursday, we launched <coughs> our new bone broth line. So we have our beef pot roast. We have our turkey bowl and oh, turmeric chicken and our turkey bowl and yay. So each of these also has regener re regeneratively farmed meats, organic veggies, and includes nutrient packed bone broth. The launch is going super well. It's really exciting. And we love all of your support. In terms of plans for growth, so we are planning to increase our presence on the baby aisle. And, you know, any product that's on the baby aisle might be a product we're considering working on. We have some new products that are launching next February at Whole Foods with an exclusive nationwide launch. So stay tuned for that. Very exciting. And then we're also doing lots and lots of pitches to really big retailers, the biggest ones out there just about. So... We're super excited and, you know, crossing our fingers that this time they say yes. So we'll see. Uh, you can find us nationwide at Whole Foods and Sprouts and then at a lot of small regional chains. Here in Austin, you can find us at HEB and Natural Grocers. We sell really well online, especially during the pandemic. So you can find us at MySerenityKids.com, Amazon and Thrive Market, as well as Organic Start and Hive. Uh, so if you or if you have a baby, sorry, if you have a baby or know someone who does start so you can support us by following us at hashtag my serenity kids on Instagram or Facebook or check out our website. We've got a lot of nutrition info on feeding your baby at my serenity Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much, Serenity, and congrats on all your growth and continued success. I can't wait to see what happens in February. Oh, no. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> Well, my marketing people would kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much. And thanks, everyone, for your time and for being here. And once again, if you have any questions about Naturally Austin, I'm always here to help um, uh, with any questions or thoughts you might have. Uh, go to naturallyaustin.org, and we're, we, can, we can start the conversation. Thanks to everyone who participated today in the showcase. It's always so great to hear about this continued success here in the CPG ecosystem in Austin. And um, we look forward to more growth and more success. For, for everyone involved. Yeah, hi, Mark. Hey there. I told you she'd be great, didn't I? The fact <laughs> is, is that Emily was fantastic. The brands were terrific. Every single one of them is interesting in their own way. I've had many of them personally. They taste great. I would strongly encourage you, if nothing else, buy their brands where you see them. 
make sure you post on their social media, promote, 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 because if we don't do that, then the world will not know how great these companies really are. They won't know how good Austin is. So obviously Emily does a great job of that on a personal level and helping through Naturally Austin. But these brands were just absolutely on point. And I've, like I said, I've had many of them. I love many of them. Um, there are quite a few uh, Greenbelt kombuchas sitting in my refrigerator at home, so I can promise you that. Same. But ultimately, this is the end of our program for the CPG track, except for networking coming up right now. I strongly encourage you to join the networking because it's where we get to meet. Frankly, we're not meeting a whole lot of people in the meeting halls and the events and everything else. So this is where we do it. So from that, I want to thank you all very much for attending the CPG track of Austin Startup Week. Thank you for all of our panelists, all of our hosts. Special thanks to Jacqueline Hughes and to Capital Factory for putting this on in the first place. And I think everybody did such a phenomenal job. And and I was just happy to be here and get to listen to this live. So thank you all very much. And once again, join us in networking when you can. Thank you all. Bye-bye.